Adding images. In this video, we look at how you can add images to an activity or resource through the Atto editor and how you can add them directly onto the course page. When you add images, it's important to make sure that you have permission to add them, that they are Creative Commons or public domain, or you've made them yourself. And it's useful also to get the right size for your Moodle course before you upload them. Here, our teacher Sam has a page where she's going to add information about Paris. She has a public domain photograph of the Eiffel Tower in a Word document and she simply clicks on the image to select it, copies it and then pastes it into her page. She also has a separate image on her desktop and she can add this by clicking on it and then dragging and dropping it into the Moodle page. If drag and drop doesn't work for you, then you can manually upload an image from the image icon in the Atto toolbar. Click the icon, click Browse Repositories, and from the next box click Upload and search for and select your image. It can be saved with a different name if you want, change the author if you want, change the license if it's not appropriate, and then click the button to upload this file. We either need to add a description or tick the box if we don't need a description, if it's decorative, and then we save the image and it's displayed. Finally, if you want to add an image directly on the course page, you can drag and drop it. Click into the dots where you want to display it and when the message appears, choose Add media to course page. Moodle will display your image in a label and we explore more features of a label in another video.